Hello, I'm Mary Evans, a tour guide at St Peter's Cathedral, Adelaide. On the pulpit side of the cathedral, overlooking the memorial garden, is the St Hilda window, presented to the cathedral by the children of the Catechism, 1902 and 1907, unveiled on the 13th of February in 1910. The Venerable Bede recorded that St Hilda was of noble birth. Apparently, she did not have an easy early life. While still an infant, her father was killed while in exile in the court of King Elmet. The lo that location is now known as West Yorkshire. It is assumed that she was brought up in the court of King Edward in Northumbria. In 627, King Edward accepted the Christian faith and along with many of his courtiers and nobles was baptised by Paulinus in a small wooden church specially constructed for the occasion. Apparently this was near the site of the present York Minster. Hilda was among this group. As a young girl, Hilda must have been aware of the Christian traditions. Between the years 627 and 647, nothing has been documented. Bede continues her story and says that Hilda was about to join her widowed sister in France when, instead, she decided to answer the call of Bishop Aidan of Lindisfarne as a nun. A year later, Bishop Aidan appointed Hilda as the second abbess of Hartlepool in the area now known as the northeast of England. There are no obvious remains of the abbey today. However, diggings around carried out near the present St Hilda's Church on the headland of Old Hartlepool have uncovered relics, tunnels and a monastic cemetery. In 657, Hilda was made the founding abbess of a new monastery at Whitby. She remained in this position serving her people and another monastery at Harkness near Whitby until her death in 680. During the last six years of her life, St Hilda suffered fevers but still carried out her work. On her deathbed, she urged the community to preserve the gospel, have peace amongst themselves and towards others. Then, in the words of our Lord, she passed from death to life. St Hilda's burial place is not known. The Venerable Bede described Hilda as a woman of great energy, skilled administrator and teacher. Kings and princes sought her advice and she had great concern for all people. Hilda is generally depicted holding a pastoral staff and carrying a small abbey church. Sometimes Ammonites are at her feet the story relates that she rid Whitby of snakes by turning them into fossils. St Hilda's Church, Hartlepool and Whitby were bombarded by a German battleship in the First World War. Newspapers recorded that in just 30 minutes on that cold December morn, the Great World War's harsh reality came to Hartlepool. A windswept cliff, the Abbey High, Broken spires reach the sky. What songs and chants have sounded here? What prayers have risen filled with fear? A wondrous choice of time and place, a timeless monument of grace. With cliffs and sky, a backdrop wall, the abbey stands stark and tall, a monument for all to see, this abbey built for God and thee. Looking down from Whitby ruins, the small harbour of Whitby can be seen below. From here on another day, many years after St Hilda, Captain James Cook set off on a voyage of discovery. And there begins another story.